I thought it was funny when that uh, the race starter or you know the flag guy or whatever at the, yeah. at the very beginning when you were, you guys were all there in the grid you were all lining up. He I came think. running out and I was like, oh, what the heck? Like, did you are you, are you leaking something or like is he yeah. trying to stop you? Yeah. What? He's like, he just ran up. He's like, my friend just wanted to know what motor's in it. It's a six liter LS. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. If he's not a Ford Furious. <laughs> That's not bad for putting a truck together in six, seven months, and then, uh, and then getting to drive it that hard. Oh yeah. Two weeks of yep. Actually having it on the road. Yep. It's felt good. It's fun. Yeah, it's the first time you've ever been on the track. Yep. And the first time the car's been on the track. Obviously, it's only been on the road for. It's only been on the road for about three weeks now. Three weeks, yeah. Yeah. So. Put down some good, some pretty respectable lap times, I think. Yeah, I think a lot of people were pretty uh, surprised. Yeah, they were not expecting to see <laughs> <laughs> this rusty old beater. And there's some people that were not not happy to be passed by it. Either. No. Uh, he even passed a Porsche once. Uh, that's right. And a Corvette. I saw you pass a Corvette. That Corvette, I passed multiple times. That's... <laughs> I smoked that Corvette. <laughs> uh, but we went, uh, we got it up underneath it. We lowered the tire pressure a little bit. Uh, stiffened the shocks up in the front and the rear quite a bit. Um, played with the tune had to had to mess with some of the transmission uh shift points and stuff they weren't uh they weren't really cooperating with the the column shift i think we're gonna put paddle shifters on this thing at some point here and um but uh on your right your ride back you uh you notice the uh the stiffness of the shocks oh, yeah there's a huge difference when you're in like you set those coilovers to like cruise mode yeah. or the track mode yeah i didn't big, feel big I, I didn't feel like uh I didn't feel like laying up underneath there, I and uh, I yeah, back hurts already it probably hurts a lot more now that yeah. you're on the drive back. The bench seat's not ideal for a track, but that's true. Yeah. It's not the worst thing either. I think my favorite part is that uh, obviously we drove it there and raced it all day, built the thing, and got it on the road uh, three weeks ago. 
built the truck in what seven eight months something like that yeah and uh went out had a track day and uh there were plenty of mazda miatas and on trailers. Oh, yeah, on trailers and being towed, and it's just it's, throw the tools and jack in the back of the bed and then drive it out there. Oh, uh, so it did, it did, did pretty good. So, pretty happy. He's got all the interior in it now, too. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if we really updated that. It's kind of hard to see now with the uh, the sun's going down, but it's a good day. We're still waiting on the gauge cluster, obviously. All the custom ATP gauge clusters are uh, they're on their way. They should be here in the next couple of weeks. So this will be uh, this will be the first truck that you see it in. So. All right.